Hello everyone, Michael Chave here from the Morning Coffee Review Series here today to give you a quick tip on a question asked on one of my previous videos of overlay. Um, someone asked for how can I take an area plus an area plus an area and show that. Um, so I'm thinking more of a quantity item and we're gonna go through and take an area of flooring and then we can digest that information down to a label that will then give us a cost estimate by flooring type of item via a label within our markups. All of our markups in review, which is why I love review, have metadata associated to them. So we're gonna be able to take those and show that information in an itemized format in our markups list. So this is gonna be two factors. You have custom markups, then you have your markups list that's gonna sort the information. So we're gonna hop into review and show you how this can be done. Alrighty, now that we're in review here, what are we gonna be doing? First and foremost, we have a PDF set open. We need to start by creating our custom tool sets and we only have to do this once. We're gonna create our custom tool sets specifically for what we're trying to itemize information for. So first one I'm gonna do is I need to create an area measurement to itemize for flooring. And that's my example, you can use this for anything. Um, but up here in the profile that I'm in, so review works off of profiles, you can switch the profile. Typically you get review when you install it, profiles, review advanced. I just prefer this because you have the top menu bar up here. You can also go to tools and measure and grab a specific um, measurement tool that we're gonna be using. Today we're gonna be using area. The defaulted area has captions to it. I don't prefer that. So whenever I place the markup selecting it, you have the properties or the dynamic options bar up top. I'm gonna to go to the properties and for this first part, we need to make the subject. So if I want to total everything by, um, what, come on, what am I typing? Um, by what we're having, the subject needs to be changed. So it could be flooring, it could be concrete, it could be um, a bunch of different things that you want to itemize by. You just understanding that subject can be one sorting factor, label can be a secondary sorting factor, you decide. So this first one's gonna be flooring, the second one is gonna be tile. So my label is gonna be tile. I'm gonna change my color appearance to be red. No, let's use magenta. And then from here, we're gonna add in hatch. And the hatch is actually gonna be white because I'm also gonna do a fill color of magenta as well. And then again, captions, I don't prefer captions because I'm gonna itemize all of my data in the markups list. So from here, now I have flooring and tile. So now when I go over to here, this is great. I made the markup once, but I want to reuse it. There's this th panel called the tool chest. Now, if you don't see the panel, you can always right click show and you can search for the panel of the tool sets or tool chest, Alt X. If I select it open, I now have my tool sets available. And you, what you want to do is create a custom tool set specific to what we're going to be placing for our flooring type. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a custom tool set. And if you want more in depth, you can check out our YouTube channel at ATG USA and look at our um, podcast series called Morning Coffee Review. It's free to join. You can ask us even live in there questions if you wanted every single Tuesday at 8.30 CST. Um, and there's a bunch of recordings again on custom tool sets, but here's a quick overview. Manage tool sets. I'm gonna add one flooring um, example save and then I'm gonna move that to the top it defaults to the bottom because I want to be able to quickly drag things to it from the recent tools so recent tools actually these markups go away so once you've made the markup and you've closed review they go away they don't just go away right now but if I close the instance of review they will go away if you close the PDF they're still there but instance of review they're gone so you want to save them for use later on and share them maybe because you can share custom tool sets with other colleagues too. Um, but what you're able to do here is left click, hold and drag. You can also select the markup on the PDF and add to tool chest, that's another way. Uh, but from here, I'm gonna change it from symbol to detail. I have flooring, tile, and then I need to make another one. So I'm just gonna control, holding control, left clicking, dragging it over to copy it or right click, control C, control V, because I want, um, the same kind of options, I just want to change the color. Well, actually not the same because I want it to be dots for my hatch. There we go. And then flooring, nope. I mean, yes, flooring, <laughs> but label is going to be carpet. Not T carpet. There we go. And now I'm going to do the same thing, drag and drop. If you wanted to change it here, you still have that option. 
to change the metadata of it prior to placing it if you wanted to. Same thing if you wanted to change some of the properties. If you select it in the properties panel before you place it, you can change everything that you need to. Great, now that I've made my custom tool set, let's go through and make some measurements and show you how we can itemize that data down in the markups list. So again, you can click, this has snaps enabled. So that is flooring carpet there. We'll do flooring carpet here. And we'll do another one of tile in the fire room. Boom, placing these quickly and then enter to finish. Left click, hold and drag for a rectangle or a square. Great, now that we're done, down here in the bottom left by default is a markups list, three dots, three lines. You click this, it activates the markups list open. You can drag it down by hovering over right here. And now I have visual of the PDF if you wanted, or, <clears throat> or you can bring this on the second screen. The great thing about panels is you can left click, hold and drag it out, or you can right click and detach. And now I can have it on a second screen. I just don't prefer that method. And let's dock you back. It doesn't want to dock back. So if it's harder to drag, you'd say, <clears throat> I want this on the bottom. Thank you. Drag up. So now that we're here, um, we have our data. So by default, your subject will sort first because it's typically from out of the box, um, your markups list sorts by the subject. So you can change the sorting by clicking, which will show on the label. Now, I didn't have some of these enabled earlier, but you can enable if you don't see the columns that you want by clicking the markups list columns and selecting what columns you want available for options of selection um, to show data. So clicking back on the subject, here's my total flooring. So it'll give you a total estimate of, not estimate, it's, well, I guess it is an estimate because you're placing them, of what's there. So what markups have been placed. And again, as I'm adding them, we'll just add a quick one. It adds it here and it adds it back to the overall. Now you can break this down even further. The reason why I was talking about labels earlier is you can click the label column and then it sorts your data by label. Like now I have three markup comments that are carpet. And you can see down here that there is 176.09 square feet of carpet. And then it shows you the different instances. Same thing for tile. You can easily print out a report you can go to CSV if you wanted to bring out data into Excel, or you can do a PDF summary report. I like the append and hyperlink to current PDF. It'll staple itself to the back and create these great hyperlinks. So now you have this. So this quick, easy way to estimate, you can do cost in it as well. If that's something you want, just put it in the comments and I'll create another one on cost for it. We can tie a custom column of cost so that you have it all in here. But you have area, 176.09. That's the total for carpet. Because again, when I printed this report out, I sorted by label. If I sorted by subject, it would have sh showed me flooring here in all of the flooring. But I clicked this and then hit export. So coming back down into here, you see those different areas. The reason why I like hyperlinks and append, click it, it brings me right to where it's at. But thank you for tuning in today for my quick tip on how to get a total of area plus an area plus another area. I appreciate you tuning in to this video. If you have any other requests, please comment in the comments below. I will create another video for you. And as always, please like and subscribe. It really helps out and I appreciate you tuning in.